The Mets handed Milwaukee a run in the first inning. Richie Sexton's pop-up misplayed by Jay Payton and Lenny Harris. Harris got the error. Payton took the responsibility. Later, apologized to Mike Hampton. The Brewers down or up one nothing. The Mets down. Bad day for Piazza. Batting with two on in the third. He left four runners on on the day. Jeff D'Amico struck him out. Four Ks on the day for Piazza. That's how much he's fallen into a slump. Raul Casanova's grounder turned into one of the plays of the day as Bordick somehow gloved it. Touched second, or at least they said he didn't touch. He turned it into an unorthodox double play. After all was said and done, Hampton continued to pitch well. He got to Miko, one of seven Ks on the day. One earned run in four hits allowed by Hampton. Then two out in the ninth. Curtis Leskanek tries to shut it down, close the door. Ventura had been one of 30. Doubles to left, ties it at one. Then the slider from Juan Acevedo. Jay Payton deposits it for a walk-off home run, and the Mets end up winning it by a final of four to one. Two in a row in the course of 18 hours, and suddenly they can exult again at Shea Stadium as they end the homestand going three and three against two very mediocre teams, the Milwaukee Brewers and the Philadelphia Phillies. Benitez got the win, four and four. The game winner, a three-run shot, biggest in his career for Jay Payton. Those are Hampton's numbers, impressive as well. Here's what the manager said afterwards. Absolutely big game. Hampton was great. Uh, guys battled.